Hey guys, come on. We got to get on down. Yeah, I know. I know that's the Golden Gate Bridge. But we got to get on down to South Louisiana. We got to get on down to Calendar's house. He's been waiting on us. He's been ordered us at least 10 days ago, and I know he's expecting us. So come on, man. Let's head it on down to South Louisiana. Everybody in line. Come on. Let's go. We got a good, we got a big flight. We got to get on down there. I know. I know that's Alcatraz. I know y'all want to do a little sightseeing, but we can't. We got to move on down to South Louisiana. Like I said, Callan Doll has been expecting us. Come on, guys. Get in line. Come on. Let's go. Let's get on down there. South Louisiana, here we come. Hi, Pipers. Callan Doll coming to you from the pipe patio here on a Wednesday afternoon. Just sitting out here. Kind of want to go ahead and give y'all an update and uh, let you know that the Pelicans did arrive. The, the rest of the flock got here safe from... San Francisco, and uh, they uh, kind of crash landed here, as you can see on the table. But uh, but was very fortunate to get the rest of the flock in, and now I got a pretty good colony of pelicans established here at Callendall's residence in South Louisiana. So uh, thought you might uh, enjoy that. Thought uh, might find the uh, intro humorous. So, uh, but uh, just kind of sitting here uh, out on the patio, having well, let me turn my glass around having my lemonade in my LSU glass. Uh, was just smoking a little bit of Hastings, which is an uh, offering from Esoterica. And uh, it's a five Virginia blend that they call an aromatic. And um, it's, uh, it's really a lot different from any aromatic that I've ever <laughs> had. Uh, it it's, tastes like it has some type of alcoholic casing on it with another ingredient. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but uh, it's light years away from something like 1Q or McBaron 7Cs. Uh, nowhere anywhere in the same neighborhood as those um, those blends. So, you know, so to really to call it an aromatic is uh, it's a lot different, I guess, probably than what most people would, would be expecting. So, uh, but uh, <clears throat> like I said, just sitting here and kind of enjoying the afternoon. Uh, the uh, <clears throat> these pelicans uh, now I'll uh, I'll actually have 24 cans and and I feel very fortunate to be able to have got that amount of pelican. I tell you the uh, I, I believe we're going to be facing more and more situations where these tobaccos are going to come real real hard to get. You know, and uh, not only that, but but I think we're facing a couple issues. I think sooner or later, you know, uh, they're going to get this tax situation on the internet, and sooner or later, you're going to start paying taxes on pipe tobacco like you do on cigarettes. I mean, I'm not wanting it to happen just like anybody else. I think else. that's what we're going to be facing, uh, good, bad, or indifferent, and ugly, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it I, I just think that's what's in, in our future. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> I, I've taken the time to try to increase my seller. Um, just for the fact that, uh, you know, I, I think we're going to be paying more for this tobacco in the future. So, anyway, uh, just want to come and kind of share this with you and uh, hope everybody in the pipe community is doing well and hope you're out this afternoon or tonight and get out and enjoy your bowl of your favorite tobacco. And until uh, next time, folks, everybody just keep them lit and keep them smoking.